Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B and today's Foodie Friday video I have got a what we ate for dinner this week although technically these dinners were filmed over more than a week as you'll see from some of the footage I make quite a lot of food and we eat on the same thing for the next day or so so leftovers don't happen to make such great video content but I hope you enjoy these videos First up I have got these lovely delicious Hasselback potatoes They are so so good my kids just gobble them up and then i serve them alongside these linda mccartney vegetarian sausages they're actually vegan we are not vegan as you will see from this video but i do try and limit our meat and dairy intake and i served it alongside some broccoli really simple didn't take a lot of time you can see who does not like broccoli that makes me laugh i had also made some breakfast muffins i've got a recipe a full recipe video for this on my channel guys if you want to check it out and then once everyone was served we covered it in gravy because gravy makes everything good especially broccoli on the next night we had some lentil dal which is a really firm favourite in our house. I started off just frying a white onion, a red onion and some garlic in a pan and then I took this unusually large carrot and I just peeled it and then grated it, popped that in the pan as well. You're just going to want to cook this for a few minutes, you just want it to kind of break down just a little bit, not too much because it's going to cook for quite a while later on. For seasonings, I added in some tandoori curry powder. You can use any curry powder that you've got. I like it best with korma curry powder and just salt, pepper and a stock cube. And then I'm going to add in half a bag of these red split lentils, which is 250 grams. And then this coconut milk is honestly my favourite coconut milk ever. It's from Lidl. It is the best. Such a good price. So creamy. And then a carton of passata. What I also like to do is add in some water as well. So I just fill up the tin of coconut milk with water and then just put that in. You can see it's coming along. Now with everything added in, this is what it looks like. Don't be alarmed, you'll be like, Paula, this is very watery. I know, but you're gonna let it cook for between 20 to 30 minutes until the lentils are fully cooked. And it looks a bit like this. It's kind of hard to see, it was so, so hot. I'm trying to blow the steam away, it didn't work. But it's nice and creamy now, it's thick, it's not watery, all of the liquid has been absorbed by the lentils and it is delicious. This is how I serve it, just on some brown rice, very very simple, along with some peas on the side. You could put the peas into it if your kids would eat that, mine, some of mine don't like peas, one of them. And so they like it served with a brown or wholemeal pita bread, just cut up into like little fingers and they scoop up the dal, they love it, they gobble this meal up, honestly. They love it. Try it with your kids and see what they think. This was Thomas's portion. He was taking Sky swimming. So I just put it in a little Tupperware box for him so he could eat it at the swimming. And I knew it would still stay hot even in that. And once everyone had been served, this was how much leftovers we had. So you can see what I was saying at the start, that we eat the same meal more than once. The next night we had slow cooker chili. This is my favourite. I have a full video on this, guys, if you want to go and check it out. See how I made it. That's why I've not included it here. It is so, so good and I just serve that with brown rice. We prefer brown rice over white rice. We don't really like white rice that much. This is what it looked like when I served it up. It is so, so good. Honestly, try the recipe, it's so easy. And I served it with sour cream and some tortilla chips and it went down really, really well. This night we had a sweet potato and veg curry. I didn't film this in detail as it's very, very similar to the dal. You just start off with your onions. This one has sweet potato, cauliflower, peas, spinach, coconut milk, passata, curry powder. You get the feeling it's kind of the same idea. Again, my kids really, really like this. Cauliflower did break down a little bit though. So I just served this in a bowl by itself. I didn't serve it with rice because it already had the sweet potatoes in it, which are starchy enough. Although sweet potatoes do count as one of your five a day. And here was the leftovers after everyone was served, so we had plenty left. Next meal is probably one of my kids' favorite meals. It is baked sandwiches. Sounds a bit random, tastes delicious. I just use Bavarian ham and cheese for our fillings in our sandwich. You can use whatever you like. So if you are vegetarian or vegan, you could go for maybe like some grilled vegetables or I'm not sure what else you might want to put in this, some mashed up beans. All I do is slice the ham in half, then put in some cheese, then the other slice 
half the slice of ham if that makes sense fold it up now you just want to do it with all your sandwiches it's so easy i prefer to use like little mini kind of slider size rolls but where i shop at Lidl they don't sell them so we just have these regular big morning rolls which they work just as well honestly and then you want to put them into like a glass dish like this don't put them on a bacon tray you want something that's got sides and then i melted some butter just in a mug in the microwave and these are your seasonings for on top you can do whatever you want but i've got garlic powder chopped onion some oregano oregano and some salt but you could go wild and try some different things then you want to take your butter spread it on top you can see how those buns are nice and shiny now oh it was delicious and you're just going to sprinkle your seasonings on top there's no like set recipe just as much as you like or as little as you like or something else if you don't like garlic or whatever it is now this oregano organo didn't want to open look at me fighting with it i'm like you will one-handed i will get you open <laughs> and you just sprinkle it all on top some people mix it in with the butter but i find if you sprinkle it on top after you've put the butter on it goes on much more evenly otherwise you end up with one bun that's got loads of garlic and one that's got none this is what they look like before they go in the oven delicious you cover them with tin foil bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes and this is after the tops had gone like slightly crispy the cheese was all melty the top tasted like a delicious garlic bread oh gosh it honestly it was amazing the kids gobbled them up and to serve them with i just made potato wedges really simple cut your potatoes into wedges i steam them for five minutes in the microwave then i cook them in the oven i serve it with cucumber it's just delicious simple not that difficult to make these were some extra wedges i had made these were cajun ones they were so good and that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up and i will see you on monday for a brand new video guys thanks for watching